So every year I come to the Toy Fair and every year I end up at uh, the WSI model stand and every year Henry is sitting at this table looking exactly like this. You're right Ian. Hello Henry, how are you? I'm fine, are you? Okay, I think I'm fine. Um, Bauma year, lots of new things. What have you got for us? Uh, we let us start with the first one the project we can show to you. It's the Volvo R100 rigid. It's a new development which we did for Volvo. It's the third project. Of course, one of the big machines again, just like the previous two ones. And this model we will announce on uh, Bauma this year. So will it be on sale at Bauma? Yeah. Okay. And for, for collectors, same time or a bit same later? Time. Same time. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is all die cast. Uh, feels nice and heavy. Detailing looks good. So that's a nice model to look forward to. Yeah, and a nice feature, what I think is a nice feature, is of, a, is of course a tipping angle we achieved with the cylinders over here. Very often this is where we, yeah, we as manufacturers are struggling and I think with this project we yeah. found a good solution. So I can see there that the, the, um, the cylinders have got like three or four stages to them. And, and it always, it's always good when you actually see a proper tipping angle because as you say sometimes the, uh, the models don't always achieve that. Yeah. And also a, a nice feature I think is, is of course the engine. We can uh, open the hood and oh, right, you can okay. uh, see a lot of detail on yeah. the engine. Very good. And there's some nice mesh work I can see there as yeah. well. So that's, that all looks like a very nice model and I assume Volvo are happy with it? I'm sure they are. Good. What's next? Next of course is uh, a model we have waited for a long time. We all so introduced the first sample already here last year on the, on the fair. Uh -huh. um, there were some small changes why the project was delayed by Liper, but finally we finished the model and uh, they already shipped, so uh, they will be introduced also on Bauma. So Liber already has these models? Not yet, they arrived in our warehouse, I think the shipment will be done within so a couple of weeks, very soon. Okay. and they will be there. A very special, or special, is the bucket of course on this item. Um, it, it's especially developed for this project and as you can see it has a lot of detail. Yeah, and I, that is certainly looking at it now in the finished form. Yeah. Um, you can see that some of the detailing is, is very good indeed. I mean, I'm looking at some kind of very small handrails on this ladder here um, and it looks really, really nice. Yeah. So it's been a, a wait for it to come, but looks like you've done a good job with it. I hope the collectors will see it the same way. Okay, so that's good. And on Bauma, of course, cranes is also a hot item, as you can see. Uh, we have two cranes developed. One is at this moment for Tadano. It's the new ATF 60. Mm -hmm. um, we just started last year, and this model will be also introduced on Bauma. Um, yeah, as usual, it has the WSI specs in the details, and uh, I hope you as collector will like this too. So you've done quite a few models for Tadano now, haven't you? Yeah. So you're, you're kind of their preferred supplier almost, I would think. They it seem, looks like. They seem to come to you a lot, so they're obviously very happy. Yeah, we try to do a good jo job, of course, and uh, yeah. when you do a good job, very often they, people they, come back. People come back, yeah. And as you can see, uh, again, for a crane model, this looks, uh, this looks nice. Yeah. yeah, and of course we have this new project for Liper. It's, it's the... 1090 and uh, it, it is a very popular crane also in real life so we expect from this model also that we will do a lot of items in the near future it's also introduced of course on Bauma and uh, that's where the people also can uh, buy the models at the, the shop of Liper mm -hmm. so again this is another highly detailed model looks looks really good uh, I've seen a few of these in real life and so no doubt you'll be making some of these in, uh, in company colours when the time comes. So that looks like yep. another model. So um, these are the ones that you've announced here. Um, I assume you'll have some other models coming for... Of course. For, for Bauma. You can't say what they are. Of course, these projects we were allowed by the OEMs to show here on the Toy Fair. Um, there's of course a lot of new items which we will show on Bauma and I'm sure that a lot of collectors will like the new things they will see over there. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm personally hoping for a couple of big crane models to come, so we'll see if they, uh, if they turn up as well. 
let's see. Okay. Ah, so next red is the color. As you can see. So these are new for Notabum? This is new developed. Um, this trailer, MCO, the six axle we had developed already a couple of years ago, but finally we got to an agreement to have it produced. And of course we are proud on it that we can now show you the, the trailer. And when, when is this available? This will be available on Bauma. Okay. It's um, at this moment in production. Mm -hmm. So after Chinese New Year, we will send out the production and uh, uh, Notabom can sell it in the Notabom shop together with this new item in the in the Bauma. Okay. And again, as usual, we can see that it's a very high quality finish, plenty of details. Yes. These are high quality trailer models, so that looks nice. It's what they are used to have at uh, Notabom. So on these trailers, of course, or this trailer. We did it also. Okay, and this one? And it's a new uh, low, uh, mega low loader. And this is a, a very new item. I, I know that Notabom is doing in real life also quite some sales on this trailer. Mm -hmm. So they have asked us uh, if we can develop this one too. Special or special, uh, it's a two, two times extendable trailer. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, yeah, it's a nice trailer which we can assort to our uh, assortment. We expect a lot in sales of this uh, item. Yeah, and uh, availability of this, is it? It's also available on Bauma. Okay. This is already produced on the way, so... Uh, okay, so that's two good models for the truck fans to look forward to. Yeah, and what I have to say also for the truck fans, this is the new heavy haulage Scania truck. This truck we have made first, of course, in the Scania livery. And this is the first one in color, besides the Scania one which will be available. Okay. Good. Thanks for that. So sometimes with models, Henry, we're talking about toys for big boys. Yeah. But this is a big toy for a big boy. This it is. is a huge, a huge model. What's what's this? This was specially made for the company Joint Arc in China. Our China office uh, did the sales to the company. And the nice thing about this paver is it is the biggest paver made up so far um, for the market. This paver is also used for the new bridge between Hong Kong and Macau. Ah, right, yeah, because that's there, one of the longest bridges in the world, isn't it? And there yeah. was this machine was developed for. Ah, okay. So it's in a it's a very large scale. What scale is it? One to thirty-two? Is you it? are right. One to thirty-two. Yeah. yeah. It is uh, made of diecast, and it's uh, yeah. You can feel it, of course. The, the viewer cannot see it, but it's quite heavy. This is a heavy model. So what do you think the future is for a model like this? Um, obviously a customer in China has wanted this to be made. In China the, the people like to have big, so I think for the Chinese market in the future if we will have more demands, I think of course it is possible that we will have this size. I, uh, to, for the European American market I think yeah, we are more popular in the scale 1 to 50. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's more or less. The scale will, will you be selling any of these into Europe? We have them already in, uh, for sales or pre-sales, uh, and I have to say the, the, the pre-sales is very good. Okay, so if anyone's uh, really interested in a you know big model of this scale, then uh, let WSI know and um, yeah, we got two two liveries so they can order, no problem. Okay, very good. So last year, Henry, you showed us uh, trucks with these hook arm lifters of Powfinger uh, made, and now I think you're following it up with some something else. That's correct. Um, yeah, in Europe. Of course, you don't only have the rigid, you also have very often the drawbar. So after the development of the Palfinger project, we started with uh, the drawbar. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made a multifunctional drawbar so we can pull the axles on different locations. Okay. Um, yeah, to almost just like it is in real life yes. for the companies. Uh, so we've got different types of body. Course. which will fit onto the onto the trailer yeah it's different configuration so yeah we can make many different combinations out of this project and it's all die cast metal of course all looks very nice and detailed one thing i've noticed at the toy fair this year is there's a bit of renewed interest i think in ho scale that's one to 87 and uh henry you've got some things here to show yeah for the this year we developed some new items more or less loads of course um, which here you see a concrete uh, bulk. How do you? Concrete beam. The beam, sorry, yeah. The container and a box. Um, later on this year, 
we will introduce them into the market um, in the moment deliveries. Yeah, so if you're, if you're a kind of model railway fan, then obviously um, we can build up some more convincing displays. Yeah. Or actually, if you just like the smaller scale, then you're getting more options now, which is, which is a good thing. Okay, good.